this small film has set the tone of what I need to speak about Uttar Pradesh. I'm thankful to August uh, News Channel who's given us this opportunity to present before you. Now, what uh, uh, did you, all of you, uh, especially the students, did you recognize where was our Honorable Prime Minister and the Chief Minister of UP standing? Do you recognize where were they? Yeah. So this was the newly developed Kashi Vishwanath Corridor. Now we have been talking like what happened during COVID period, the pandemic. The tourism industry was the worst hit. The hotels had no business. The tour operators, the tourists were not coming in. So there was hardly any business. And a lot of people from all walks of life are associated with tourism. So they all had bad days. But then something happened and the entire scenario of tourism has changed in Uttar Pradesh. Our Honorable Prime Minister and our Chief Minister. During the pandemic, the thought came because tourists were not coming, temples were closed. Let's redo the Kashi Vishwanath Temple. Now, as you see what happens, Traditionally, in our temples, they are not very clean. They are not very accessible. Aap mandiron mein jate hain, gandagi, dhakka, mukki. This was the scene with most of our places. But then, our Prime Minister, who is a visionary, he realized this. And he decided to make it a clean and a decent place so that everybody gets a beautiful experience of visiting the temple. So he came up with the idea of Kashi Vishwanath Corridor. If some of you must have visited it in earlier days, there used to be narrow lanes, galiyon se hokar jana hota tha, jin mein gandgi aur sakre raaste, bheed, bhaad, dhakka, mukki, sab kuch hoti thi. Humne vaha aas paas ke lag bhag 3-400 makano ko kharida. We bought them, we resettled them somewhere else. We opened the entire places. Now there is no lane, no gully, nothing. A huge, beautiful corridor exists, which you have seen in the, uh, this short clip. People can go and have a very beautiful darshan at the temple. There are beautiful food courts. There's an exhibition center. There are halls. There can be religious activities in, this, uh, in the temple. Then we've made another essays from the river Ganga side, the Ganga Dwar, you can reach the temple because the roads are very narrow, the roads are from the older days, there's a huge traffic congestion in Varanasi. So now we've made another route. You go to the ghats, end ghat, Namo ghat, which is created again by the Honorable Prime Minister's uh, vision. From Namo ghat, you can take a boat or a cruise and you can come and disembark right behind the Kashi Vishnu temple at the Ganga Dwar. And you can go and visit the temple and come back by the same route without experiencing any kind of traffic congestion. So now what happened because of this corridor? The entire scenario of tourism has changed in Varanasi. 2021, the temple, the corridor, newly built corridor got inaugurated in the month of December. Now the year 2022. We had, from January to December, we had 7 crore tourists in Varanasi. Can you imagine 7 crore tourists? And this is no guesstimate. This is an actual figure. How does it come? We have put headcount machines on all the four gates. There are four entry points of the temple. There are headcount machines on all gates. So we get the actual number, how many heads are coming in, how many are going out. 1% of them can be subtracted, they may be the priests, the policemen or the regular people, but then rest of our, all are tourists. Now what has this brought to the city of Varanasi? All the hotels are full. It is a major difficult task today to get a room in Varanasi. They advance bookings 6-6 six, six months in advance. We have got a whole lot of there, no less than 100 hotels in Varanasi. A huge number, another 100 homestays. But then, accommodation is still short. Now, the coming in of tourists is bringing 
all the benefits which occur when tourism activity takes place the flower sellers who are sitting outside the temple they are earning per day their earning is from 40000 to 70000 can you imagine a flower seller is earning to this tune the prasad walas the e rickshaw walas because the transport uh, like cars and all cannot go to the temple they have to park uh, uh, a kilometer before it so people take e rickshaws so the e rickshaw pullers the boatmen they are all benefiting so the benefits of tourism are going to all walks of life every person who is engaged in any kind of touristic activity in the city of varanasi is benefiting by this inflow of tourists now this experiment was so success and uh, uh, now the uh, the year 2023 the seven crore tourists has now converted into 13 crore tourists we had more than 13 crore tourists in the year 2020 2023 and this figure is going to increase even more now this experiment gave uh, like uh, this was a very very successful experiment and then it was copied in madhya pradesh and the ujjain corridor came up mahakal corridor came up and again a very very successful model now we have realized the importance of making our religious places clean and presentable a uh, very near to varanasi is mirzapur i don't know how many of you know it is uh, the seat of uh, vindhavasini devi uh, it is one of the shakti peets so we have we have building another corridor there in the coming navratri it will be inaugurated we bought 4 500 houses around it was again a place very congested narrow lanes and pandas and pujaris or uh, like it was difficult for the tourists to come now they are all wiped out please uh, place is cleaned their properties have been purchased they have been relocated rehabilitated and a beautiful corridor is coming up in uh, vindhyachal this will again draw tourists the people who are coming to varanasi will also go to vindhyachal similarly we are building another corridor in saharanpur shakumbari devi that is another shakti peeth so similar corridor is coming up in shakumbari devi we are doing working uh, for betterment of naimi sharan and ayodhya of course ayodhya is going to be the biggest destination for at least uh, coming 10 20 years people world over would like to come and visit the ram mandir at least once in a lifetime so ayodhya is not going to look back now and what is happening with the tourists coming into ayodhya ayodhya was a very sleepy small town i have been posted twice in ayodhya uh, once in 1999 the year 1999 and again in 2005 can you imagine that time you would never you would it was very difficult to get a 100 gram amul butter there this was the scene there were hardly any restaurants now today ayodhya is going to be entirely transformed a new ayodhya is coming up all sorts of not only the ram mandir all sorts of modern amenities like today all uh, hotel groups are wanting land in ayodhya somebody just said the prices have shooted like anything no land is available so now what is going to happen ayodhya which was earlier very less visited by tourists because of the connectivity reasons now is going to be the focal point of tourism in the state of uttar pradesh what is going to be the uh, result of uh, this development lucknow the people are going to come to lucknow and start their journey from lucknow so lucknow in any case is the state capital and has all kind of amenities lucknow is going to prosper from lucknow they'll come to ayodhya but not stop at ayodhya further they'll go to prayagraj the city of the holy sangam from prayagraj to varanasi some may also go to chitrakoot so now this entire circuit is going to be prosperous and filled with tourists and then this the eastern up which was a little like western up is always uh, more developed and more uh, opportunities but east were eastern up was a little less developed with less a number of opportunities now this tourism is going to change the scene 
of the economy of eastern uttar pradesh so this is what tourism does so this was a small uh, i would uh, i just gave you a bit of an idea i would endorse the view of mr panda when he said tourism should be part of our studies it should be be a subject it's a complete science i have been delivering lectures in various universities and i find like tourism like children think what is tourism tourism ghumna firna isme kya hai it's not that tourism is a complete science and when you study it like a subject from your childhood then you are sensitized you understand the importance of tourism what tourism can do how it can affect the life how it can uh, affect the economy how can it affect the infrastructure of the cities so i uh, support the view tourism should be a subject and should be taught like all other subjects thank you jodi apan ko am video ti bhal lagila tebe am channel ko like share aur subscribe karipa ko jama bhi bolantu nahi